1975, I had a bad back. And I go to the doctors and they tell me it's normal because <laughs> I've been playing sports for a long time. So I knew a guy at a health food store, an uh, Indian guy, and I told him my problem. So he sent me to this guru that I started practicing yoga. I would go to the guy and do stretches and, and all of a sudden my back was better. And so I used to tell people, yeah, I, I do yogurt. They go, yogurt? <laughs> In 1973, no one had heard of yoga, man. It, no, especially athletics. Like I was using chiropractors back in the 70s when they said they were quacks. So I used to read all these books. I always had this health and fitness thing. So I used to, like I was telling you about reading, if you don't know something, go to the source. So I, I read so many books on health and fitness and diet and exercise. So, so somehow I got led to the yoga, and uh, I do some form of yoga every day. You know, I, don't, I no longer go to classes or anything, but just in bed, or especially when I'm on the road, because traveling, you have your neck is always sore, so I do the different asanas for, for stretching. But it's not a mass movement, it's not for everybody, it's just a select esoteric group of people that will get into yoga. You know, like now they have the hot yoga, where, which is we're talking about uh, the one that's been around for 2,000 years, you know, the different stretches. And with that, most people that are into that don't smoke, don't drink. They, they have a proper diet. Uh, they're cool. They're laid back. They're focused. It's, a, it's an enlightenment about a person that follows yoga. <laughs>